a thread by Carlos Osuita for Brian in Dorset. If you ever had any doubt that Donald Trump would win, look no further than our British friend, Brian. He's the living, breathing embodiment of everything that has already cost the Democrats the election. Brian in Dorset tweets to Carlos Osuita, do you really believe this, Carlos? It goes against all available factual evidence. You rely on facts that no one else but you and Trump can see. The Komodo dragon example is not necessarily true. If Komodo dragons had the ability of a human to reason, it would be human. <laughs> Brian is not only incapable of defending his positions or challenging mind. He doesn't even understand what I'm saying. Here's what I said about Komodo dragons. Hi, I represent the Democrats. I'm here to smash your face. They aren't even thinking. Their brains have rooted down to their reptilian complexes. Komodo dragons, crocodiles. There's a reason that Komodo dragons don't get pilot's licenses. They don't know what airplanes are. If you somehow manage to communicate with a Komodo dragon and explain airplanes to it, here's what the dragon would say. Can I eat it? Can I mate with it? And when you said no, it would just waddle away. My point is that Komodo dragons can't think like humans. So what does Brian say? But if Komodo dragons could think like humans, they'd make the decisions that humans would make. Brian, you could say that about everything. If chairs could think like humans, they'd make the decisions that humans make. You're not making an argument, Brian. Every single tweet you send me is stupid. All you do is say, you're wrong because I say so. That's precisely my point. You are illuminating exactly why the Democrats will lose. Berating me is doing nothing to advance your side's prospects of winning. It's actually counterproductive. But you're going to do it anyway because you are unable to deviate from your script. Do you know why Charles Martel won every single battle he fought except for his first? Because he refused to read from the script. Charles defeated the Moors at the Battle of Tours in 732 by breaking every single rule. The Moors were not expected to be met by force. Charles appeared out of nowhere, achieving total surprise. But instead of attacking, Charles assumed a defensive position. He allowed only minor skirmishes. This confused the hell out of Abdel Rahman, the opposing general. The Moors didn't notice that Charles was flanking them. His men hid behind natural coverings such as trees and other foliage. This was not done at the time, which is why Charles did it. The Moors outnumbered the Franks two to one, but they had no idea. Eventually, Abd al-Rahman got tired of screwing around and sent his cavalry against the Franks. Horrible idea! As Charles had foreseen, the cavalry had to gallop uphill through trees. They were almost useless. Charles had trained his men 10 years for this battle. This was also unheard of. For the first time in history, infantry withstood attacks by heavy cavalry. They stepped aside and attacked the horsemen from behind. Allowing the enemy to break the line was part of the strategy. As the Moorish cavalry charged ineffectively, Charles sent Arabic-speaking infiltrators into the Moorish lines. These men shouted that the Franks had outflanked them and were stealing the booty. The main point of wars during this era was to sack cities. Upon hearing that their booty was being stolen, the Moors galloped in disorder to the transportation trains in the rear. This allowed Charles's men to free the Moors' slaves and arm them. The men in the trees also attacked. Abd al-Rahman was killed, and that broke the Moors. They fled the battlefield. Nice, eh? Trump is Charles Martel, Brian. Sun Tzu himself couldn't have done a better job at Tours. Trump is doing 
everything Charles did. Surprise attacks, deception, infiltrators, forcing the enemy to fight on a battlefield of Trump's choosing, breaking all the rules. See, I just made a thread comparing Trump to a historical figure. I compared the Battle of Tour to Trump's re-election campaign. And what will your response be, Brian? Well, but if Abdal Rahman had won, then Charles Martel would have lost. So you're wrong. Either that or you'll say, everything you wrote is wrong because I say so. How about writing your own thread, Brian? I know why you can't. I know why you don't, because you can't. You don't have a script for a thread. Your script tells you to doggedly plow ahead with your 100% ineffectual tactic of saying, you're wrong because I say so. And this is exactly what I've been saying about leftists. You're proving me right and you don't even know it. If you knew it, you wouldn't be able to stop. All hail the holy script. I have a million historical antecedents to Trump's re-election. You can't give me one historical antecedent to what the Democrats are doing, but keep providing an illustration of why Trump will win.